This is Channel 3 News, The Late Report. A New Orleans Federal Appeals Court today ruled that a gay student organization at Texas A&M will have to be recognized. Texas A&M suffered loss at the hands of the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals yesterday. Texas A&M may be forced to recognize a gay student group on campus. For eight years, members of a group called Gay Student Services have been fighting with Texas A&M for recognition as a student group, the right to post notices at their meetings, and the right to have a room to hold them. What we are saying is that we have a right to be heard as guaranteed to us as American citizens. Why would I be recognized? Because we have the right to speak just like you do right now. That's why. And what is unusual is that in this day and age, we had to go to court and... Uh, stand up for our rights in this area. I was told by someone who, who was apparently very close to the A&M leadership, you know, that they will appeal it. Uh, I'm not sure what their reasons would be for that. I know they will lose. Live from Houston's KHOU-TV. At the top of the news this evening, the United States Supreme Court has ruled that gay organizations on the campus of Texas A&M University have the very same rights as other student organizations. You're watching Channel 13. The Texas A&M University must allow gays to have all the rights of any other student group. Now, Channel 2 News. At Texas A&M, officials have lost a nine-year battle against a homosexual group at the university. Hello, everyone. This is Channel 3 at 6. Thank you for joining us. The United States Supreme Court today let stand a federal court ruling that Texas A&M University was wrong to deny a gay student service organization the right to meet on campus. Marco Roberts, the president of Gay Student Services, was and pleased. That, uh, all students are guaranteed freedom of speech and freedom of association, and I think that, uh, that uh, this will be a benefit to Texas A&M, not only for us, but for all people who are in favor of free thinking and free thinking. Uh, does it mean that uh, we have no... Uh, say in regards to what is a legitimate student organization. Uh, for instance, if you have a group that might be concerned with uh, uh, animal sacrifice. Gay students at Texas A&M are still the object of subtle and sometimes not so subtle discrimination. And they had eight years to, to show how, and, uh, how recognition of gay student services would harm the university, and they failed to do that. A debate between gay rights advocate Gary LaMarche of the Texas Civil Liberties Union and gay rights opponent, Houston City Councilman John Dittner, was scheduled long before Monday's ruling by the Supreme Court. However, the ruling added fuel to an already hot issue on this campus. We're simply saying that the 10% or so of the population that uh, call themselves homosexuals are entitled to some fundamental fairness and some fundamental decency. That's what this is all about. Well, do you think they ought to have the right to organize on campus? No, I don't believe so. That would be given the university to be recognizing them and recognizing the morals of such a group. The real test of freedom is being able to promote or to advocate an unpopular point of view and, and, and be safe. Straits cannot vote on gay rights. There are certain rights that are guaranteed to every individual by the Constitution, and these rights are not up for a vote.